Well, uh, hi Church. Uh, it's me, me again with a little YouTube video series to support you as you do your family devotions um, over the next couple of weeks. I, uh, I want to introduce you in this video series or spend my time talking about a practice that will lead to us being a blessed people. A blessed people. Yeah, I am not preaching health and wealth right now. I am taking my text from Psalm 1, who introduces us to a blessed man. I have it here at the top of my little diagram. Uh, who is this guy? Who is this blessed man is really what Psalm 1 is about. He is the guy whose delight is in the law of the Lord and who meditates on this law day and night. Uh, and there you have that practice. The blessed guy is the guy who meditates. There's his action um, on this law that he delights in day and night. And so this is the video series that I would like to do. I would like a uh, meditation um, because it's a lot more normal than I think you would first get the impression about. Uh, if you are um, an expert meditator, then I just hope that this is a further confirmation or um, a further encouragement. Well, anyway, Psalm 1 gives us this picture of this tree. Uh, it's planted beside streams of water. It's a tree that has green all year round, which means it's not like going into sleep mode or looking, uh, looking um, out of shape. It's green all year round, regardless of the season, and it bears its fruit at the right time. So it's a healthy tree. And it's a picture of this blessed, happy man. And, what, and as again, why is it so? Because it's there beside streams of water. And it has its root system into the ground next to where that stream is, drawing up that water of life into itself all the time. And that, uh, that, that action of the roots, you could say, is really the picture of meditation. Here it is, this idea that we are drawing up from the Word, not simply getting a focused, you know, presentation on Sunday, uh, but we ourselves are drawing up and chew, you know, on the Word, chewing it over and, and digesting it day by day, that we are becoming, through this process, a changed people, a people conformed by the Word, um, a blessed people. And so there you, there you go. Well, this is just an introductory video, um, and I want to give you like the overview. I've taken three points, or you could say three stages um, for meditation. I've got these from a book by uh, Timothy Keller. He uh, wrote a book on prayer, and um, I don't think he would mind because he took them from John Owen, old Puritan, um, and that guy's dead, so must be good. But anyway, these are really just, a, I guess, a suggestion. There may be other ways of doing meditation. But I trust these will be at least a good place to start if meditation is new to, for you. Um, the three, the th I guess the tendency is that in, in today's fast-paced life, I would say, early parenting at least is, is uh, quite fast-paced and tiring, that the tendency is that we would skim read through the Bible. Or even just that we would read it to try and understand what he's saying and then we set it aside and go on about our life. Now, it is important that we do read, even when we don't feel like it. It is important that we get to the truth. Try and ask yourselves, uh, what is this text teaching? But then is really when meditation needs to begin. And these are the three stages that he uh, lays out before us. One is fixing the thoughts. So once we've come to an understanding of what that truth is, um, what the text is teaching us, then we can begin to order our thinking, change how we are, um, uh, yeah, how we are thinking about things, um, see see things in light of of that truth. So then we move uh, when we begin to understand better. We move from the heart, from the from the head to the heart, and this is where it's like the inclining of the heart, the disposition, preaching to ourselves exhorting ourselves so that we can change our feelings, our attitudes, begin to be, uh, to be shaped. And then finally, as we hopefully through this process have become to grasp a little bit more of the reality of God and his salvation, then we can res we respond in simply enjoying that, um, that, that, new, that new conviction or that new, uh, uh, that new revelation. 
Or if you haven't, uh, through this process, you just really come to realize how dull in terms of how unfeeling um, or how, how blind blind one is, um, then you cry out. You cry out for God to help you, for us to, for him to help us and open our eyes and, and soften and soften our, our hearts and, and that. And so there's the there's this three three stages of meditation. Um, I would like to do a video, a video, a separate video now on um, at least the first two stages. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for the third one, but I'm not going to do them as like a just here's some here's a theory. I'm going to um, do I'm going to do them what. Uh, as I move through the, the TBT over the next two weeks. Uh, I'm moving through the text that, that is laid out in our uh, IBC study plan, the TBT, through the Bible together. Um, I would encourage you, as many as, as I could, that they would do it with us. Um, and so I'm going to take the text for the next two weeks and just do a video on really what, what I'm doing and maybe even I get Rita involved. Um, and we we go through this process as we're looking at the next couple of weeks uh, TBT texts. The text for the next week is Matthew 26, end of Matthew 26, and the beginning of Matthew 27. Uh, and the following week is John 18 and Isaiah 53. And these four texts, these two weeks of TBT, come together to teach this one focus, really, how a focus on this one, this one um this, this, this one story of how Jesus was rejected just before he went to the cross, where Peter and, and Judas and Pilate rejected him. Um, and so I will take this, this story, these four texts, and then do my uh, three stages of meditation on those. And so, um, again, I hope... Not just that you will be encouraged as you read through the, the Bible together, these texts, but that we will build, hopefully, this practice of meditation into, into our week, into our day. And we make whatever sacrifices is needed um, to take time to draw, to draw up that water, that water of life into us. Um, so that we would truly be a blessed people. Well, that's the, uh, that's the plan anyway. Um, I'm excited. I hope, I hope you are. Um, we will see how this goes over and out.